welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Marvel vs. Capcom video. We're going to be checking out the brand new Jada Toys, their Street Fighter 2, the final challengers, M. Bison. Finally found this guy, went to a Target store, and they must have just put them out. Not only did I find M. Bison, but I also found Dalsim, which, hey, he looks great, and more on him coming soon. Same sort of style box, really nice looking arcade. Here's the barcode if you want to try and find him. Like I said, Target Stores is the place to be. Not only that, but my order from Entertainment Earth came in, and I got the brand new retro-inspired Iron Man She-Hulk action figure, and she looks great. She really does. It, it's going to be kind of weird because you know, people are going to go, hey, Iron Man, retro Iron Man, kind of like Iron Man, the animated series from the 90s. Yes, one in the same. Did She-Hulk ever appear on Iron Man, the animated series? No, but she was in Fantastic Four. Of course, she was in The Incredible Hulk, and all of those, Iron Man included, really lapped over one another. Spider-Man and X-Men, they had kind of, well, let's say sometimes had their own continuity going on. They're all in the same universe, but there's discrepancies. Just FYI, but we just kind of forget about that, especially now with X-Men 97. But I love the old calculator look right there. She-Hulk. On the back side of this gorgeous card back, of which I will be destroying because I'm going to open this up. But you get to see She-Hulk if you want to read up on old Jennifer Walters. And you get those old school Toy Biz sort of styled Ikea diagrams courtesy of Harry Moore Design. Always does a great job. It, it just has swap out fists and an accessories. But hey, it totally works. And here's the barcode. These are starting to hit stores now. But like I said, I grabbed mine from Entertainment Earth and I'll put a link down in the description below if you would like to grab one as well. But regardless, this is going to be an absolute blast. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee, insert some quarters. We have a brawl to decide here. On the Marvel Legends side, we have the brand new retro inspired She-Hulk action figure versus the Jada Toys M. Bison from their Street Fighter line. Press start now to continue. Bing! All right, so here's both characters out of their respective packaging, and we got two nice-looking figures here. And what's nice about Jada and the Hasbro Marvel Legends is that they really do go together well. They're more in that six-inch scale. As far as M. Bison is concerned, he comes with a pair of fists and a pair of Open fighting hands, we'll just say. He also comes with a purple energy effect. It actually looks really good. It simply just slips over both hands, fisted or otherwise. He's got that big flowing cape, of which I will tell you all about in just a few seconds. But the way he's articulated, the way he stands, he looks very powerful. That's definitely M. Bison. But not only that, you get an extra head portrait. It's more of that solemn, I'm not ready to beat you up just yet style. Really nice paint, really nice sculpt. He's got the skull wing right there on the front. Everything just is awesome there. And it also comes with some inner swappable, we'll say shoulder plates, of which he does come with a little instruction guide, of which I really like. The name of the game with swapping out the shoulder plates for the shoulder plates with the cape is back to front and then front to back. I'll just show you. It'll make it a lot easier. So you kind of just... Clip it, you start from the back of the figure to the front, simply just removes easy peasy and you can take the cape off. Now, just to get the capeless shoulder pads up there, front to back, simply just kind of clips in there, folds down over the back, you do it twice and it looks so, so nice. And it's really easy to do. The only thing that I would point out about these is that when you wanna move them around, because it's really well done, but in some poses, as will be expected, they'll kind of pop off from now and then. So just go easy, kind of learn how the articulation goes, and you'll be set. But to see him without the cape, less menacing. Still looks good, though, I will say. But the cape really brings him to life, especially since... It's a really nice cape and it has a bendy wire in there. It has all that great articulation, very nice paint overall, 
very little, if any, complaints. The cape for the price point being wired and just giving him so much character. It really brings M. Bison to life. It's a nice piece of fabric. I wouldn't say that's chintzy by any means. Again, for the price point, that's a nice touch you got there. Jada Toys, it's going to have the same type of articulation if you've been collecting the line. Very well articulated. You can get this guy into all those fighting poses, fighting stances, mash the buttons every which way. Like I said, when you want to move the shoulder pads around with the cape, kind of goes on a swivel up, down, left, and right. Really doesn't hinder the arms as long as you kind of know what you're doing. But yes, again, you will run to that. Well, they kind of popped off for a second. It's a quick pop back on. Easy peasy. When it comes to the ab crunch, yes, that totally works. You're going to have to line up the blue stripe from time to time. Not really a problem. He's got the waist. He's got his little dark side skirt going on. His legs will kick up. He's got double jointed knees, which he's got those big old clod hopper boots going on and the shin knee pads, everything else like a big combo peg holes on the bottom. Very impressed by this figure. When I finally saw it on the store shelf, I was like, there he is. This is going to be a lot of fun. And like I said, over and over, to have the powers, to have the articulation, to have the really beautiful sculpt and the cape, that's a home run, Jada Toys. Now, in terms of the Marvel Legends, She-Hulk. Well, she's actually pretty cool. She comes with a couple extra hands. Again, fisted and open hands, which those are pretty much the main two style hands that you'd want for She-Hulk. She also comes with this gun, which is broken, which she kind of snapped. It's interesting, to say the least. It's nicely done. There's no paint on it. It's just a solid black weapon. Would have been cool if we could break it, quote unquote. Like it kind of had some articulation, something unique there, but it's very old school toy biz with the adjoining hands that she has. Yes, you can get her in that pose where she's kind of giving a smile. She just pulled it from a bad guy and broke it. Now, in terms of She-Hulk, they nailed it. That's a gorgeous looking Jennifer Walters, old school She-Hulk, the green, the hair. The hair is a highlight of this figure. Black hair, it's got the green wash to it. The green that they've chosen for this She-Hulk is amazing. Bright, vibrant, very comic booky, cartoony. I love it. This is a very nice looking She-Hulk with the purples, the white accents for the paint that she has. Sure, it looks great. Although I will point out, as some of you have kind of said to me and then I really started to notice, it's not that big of a deal, but let's say the kneecaps, some of the articulation joints for the arms are ever so off in the color of green. It may not pick it up via the camera. It kind of picks it up in certain lights when holding it in hand, but regardless, it's still really well done, so I'm not going to fault them too much, but that's just something to kind of keep an eye on for the future. Minimal articulation in the head because of the big amount of hair, just FYI. She will have a waist crunch, kind of, sort of, more so back than front. She'll swivel. She's got double jointed elbows. She's got the bicep, plenty of articulation in the wrists. She'll kick out. She's got double jointed knees, although... As we've been kind of looking at modern Marvel Legends of recent, the knees are always the most stuck. So go easy on those. She's got boot swivel, thigh swivel. She's got plenty of articulation in the feet. Although, just to point out again, it's a little bit loose in the feet. Not where she's consistently fallen over, but a little bit too loose than I like when you have a brand new figure like this. So just go weary when you're posing her. She might take a dive going forward. When you look at what has come before, like specifically the old Toy Biz She-Hulk for the Incredible Hulk line, yes, the old face sculpt, everything was grand back then, but to now to see what they can do, I mean, it's night and day. That is a gorgeous face sculpt for old She-Hulk. In most recent She-Hulks that Marvel Legends has done, the gray She-Hulk, and then you had the A-Force box set, which that was a good looking one at the time. I like the purples, the whites, the greens were okay, but to see this green, it's just so much better. I love it. I love what they did here with this She-Hulk. I really have very little complaints, if any. I think they nailed it. That is what I think of when I think She-Hulk. Now, again, to bring up with Iron Man the Animated Series for this retro Iron Man line from Toy Biz, and then you have She-Hulk. Yes, I would say size, 
definitely works here, along with the Fantastic Four and then her cousin Hulk, of which when you watch the old Incredible Hulk cartoon, I mean, they really went out of their way as a kid's cartoon to make it like overly sexy for She-Hulk, which yeah, that's how the comics were back in the day. She was a tease here and there, but it's awkward when she's hanging out with Bruce. I'm just going to point that out. When it comes to M. Bison with the rest of his Street Fighter gang, he looks great, especially when going up against Ryu. He's got some powers, some effects. You give him a flight stand, he's ready to cause some damage. And what's nice is that, yes, Jada Toys does pay attention to scale. So in the case of other characters, M. Bison is now the tallest, and I would say that that is nice. That's a nice attention to detail. Thank you, Jada Toys. And when you want to do the whole Marvel versus Capcom, X-Men versus Street Fighter, Marvel superheroes versus everybody, you get the idea. As more of that buffer, tougher type character on the Street Fighter side, he goes well with Doctor Doom and, of course, this Diamond Select Thanos. But now you've inserted those quarters and we have a brawl to decide. So She-Hulk throws the first punch of which M. Bison Block. A couple kicks here and there, lands him right in the jaw, but he catches her foot midair and he's ready to put her down for good. He uses a psycho uppercut and sends She-Hulk flying through the air and off to the side screen. But she did manage to store up just enough energy to call forth her teammates and Hulk along with Mega Man are ready to smash. And wouldn't you know it, She-Hulk is able to land that final blow, sending M. Bison hurtling through the atmosphere and we have our winner. But little does she know she has one last contender to deal with and the mighty apocalypse is ready to rain down his fury upon her. It's a continuation screen if I've ever seen one and we'll see how this will go for old She-Hulk. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new Hasbro Marvel Legends from their retro Iron Man line. She-Hulk, along with the Jada Toys from their Street Fighter 2 action figure line, M. Bison. Really, two figures that are quite fantastic. I love them both. I think they did a great job. Overall, I think that M. Bison, with all the effects, all his extra hands, that gorgeous cape, definitely takes the gold cup here in this video. And then seconded by She-Hulk. Maybe a few more accessories. It's a rather big figure. I like how they had to crouch her down in the box. But the gun leaves a little bit to be desired, even though it's nice to see something like that Kind of reminded me of the old Toy Biz days. But you've heard my thoughts, so now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Marvel versus Capcom. Get ready for that new game mashup. Ah, the Punisher looks pretty sweet, too. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, when it comes to action figures, have some fun. And when it comes to old video games and you got these figures, well, you can bring back all the nostalgic memories. When you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.